Well, today we are going to be making a maze out of Gatsby's hundreds of babies! Slowly, 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 sl
Who wants a Gatsby health update? Me! Okay, Gatsby, shall we tell them? So in last week's vlog, I mentioned that Gatsby may have a nasal infection. <gasps> So the oncologist prescribed Gatsby some antibiotics because since Gatsby's nasal cancer, his nose is now very susceptible to getting a nasal infection. And that is the most likely culprit to his sneezing. Well, I'm happy to tell you guys that I think the antibiotics worked. Gatsby, are you feeling better? He still does sneeze, but I notice it's not as bad. The other news is that Gatsby has his follow-up appointment at UC Davis for his nasal cancer and adrenal cancer. Ah, uh, I'm so nervous about that. Those appointments last like six to seven hours because they have to put Gatsby to sleep. X-rays, they're gonna have to shave your belly again. They're gonna have to check his other adrenal gland which they think still has cancer in it. They're gonna have to check to see if it started to grow. So everyone, please send us some good vibes. Maybe give this video a like and hopefully Gatsby's remaining adrenal gland did not grow any larger. Anyway, I don't want to be too much of a downer, so let's get the day started. Guess what? Some excited things happened for us. If you go to YouTube and you see this here, celebrate Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, and you click on it, it takes you here, goes to the official YouTube page, Vlogs and Lifestyle. We're right here, vlog after college. We are the seventh channel listed on this page here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're the seventh one there too. Gatsby, what do you think? Congratulations. <laughs> We've been doing YouTube for like 11 years now. It's so crazy and I just wanted to share with you guys like pretty some pretty awesome news. Yeah, Gatsby. Today we are getting footage from Gatsby's butt. What is that gonna look like? We'll see. Hello everyone from Gatsby's butt. <laughs> I need to be in the shot. Okay, you guys, we have an awesome vlog pl planned. Oh no. We have an awesome vlog planned for you. <laughs> we have so much gonna go on today. We are gonna have, oh, yes, we, we have lots of food. We're gonna eat a Korean barbecue dinner with Sean. Oh my gosh. And let's start. The vlog, Gatsby will... <laughs> this is a lot harder to film from his butt, huh? Oh, I'm gonna work out with my buddy. We have a lot to do. Let's get started. There it is, the butt, the famous butt. Let's take the first bite of the new vegan pokey together. It's from Trader Joe's. It's beets marinated in a sesame soy sauce. If I took a bite of this without knowing it was from beets, I would think it was pokey. Pokey? <laughs> it's poke. So I said this to all my friends in Hawaii, and we're all just like, oh. In Hawaii, we don't have Trader Joe's, but since I live in California, we do. Well, we gotta try that out. So we are at Trader Joe's right now to see if that vegan poke is any good. Let's go get it. I have the poke made out of beets. So for those of you who don't know, poke is basically like a marinated sashimi, but um, this is made out of beets instead. Is it gonna be good? There were so many left there, nobody bought it at the store. <laughs> so this does not really look like poke to me. Honestly, it does kind of smell like poke. My first taste of a foke. <laughs> This tastes nothing like poke. <laughs> it literally tastes like beets. Beets don't have the texture of like of fish. It should taste a lot stronger soy sauce flavor for poke. And this doesn't have that. It just like very bland. You know how beets are <laughs> you know how beets taste? <laughs> it tastes like that. I mean, I'll eat it. I'll finish eating this. But this was, I think, how much was this? This was like five dollars. Would I buy it again? No. <laughs> it's edible. I would give it a three out of ten. I was sending it to all my friends, and we were talking about this for so long. So I was like, maybe it's good. Maybe it actually tastes like poke. But no, no. Gatsby, this dinosaur wants to give you a kiss. He's gonna show you how to kiss. Here you go. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa! 
welcome to our Corgi on Fleek store. We are getting ready to ship out some of you guys' orders. Gatsby's gonna help us. You guys went so crazy on our spring merchandise drop that we released last week. First order is from Sally from Victoria, Texas. She ordered black keeping a classy t-shirt. The Corgi comic t-shirt here. The one that I'm wearing. Gatsby, check it out. See? Swimming zipper pouch. This plush here. And she ordered the socks. Thank you. Ta-da! Thanks, Sally. Your order is on the way. Gatsby, thank you so much for your help. We're gonna do the next one for Perla from Chiefland, Florida. So she ordered shopping bags here. The ramen one, the pizza one, and the plush bag. This one's going to Perla, along with the thank you note here. We got it. Ta-da! Thanks, Perla. Your order is on its way. I want to thank you guys so much for checking out our spring merchandise. Make sure to get yours at corgionfleet.com. Thank you so much, Gatsby, for helping out. Right now, I am headed over to the gym to work out with my buddy, Stan. We're gonna hit a back and bicep workout. Today, Stan let me try out his wrist straps, and we really focused on good form and mind-muscle connection. For today's gym tip, I thought I would go over getting a gym buddy. If you noticed, I have quite a few lifting buddies, and I thought I'd actually give you some tips on getting one. I think having someone to work out with who has the same goals as you is so important to have. It makes working out so much more fun and you get a lot more motivation, a better workout, and you learn something new. First, find someone who goes to the gym around the same time as you and is around the same level. Once you spot someone that matches this criteria, I usually go up and ask them for a spot or just give a friendly compliment like, dude, you're killing it. If you're a beginner, you can also ask the person for tips on how to use a machine or ask if they can check your form to make sure you're doing the workout right. But don't come off as nervous or shy. Just be extroverted and friendly. Then next time you see the person, ask what they're hitting. You're hitting back? Nice. After a few times, I say something like, Hey man, we should get a workout in sometime. I want to try your back workout. Anyway, that's your gym tip. Hope you learned something. I'm all dressed up. Right now, I am driving over to grab dinner with my friend Sean and Idoline and Sambert. I'm treating them out because I'm calling it Friend Appreciation Day. And I'm taking you guys along with us too. We are at 10 Butchers. Wow. Look at Sean. Oh, look at him. <laughs> We're going, we're ready, let's go. Ten Butchers is one of my favorite restaurants in the Bay Area. It's Korean barbecue exclusively with Wagyu beef. When you enter, you can see the Wagyu displayed with the certificate of authenticity. How bougie. Sean, Sambert, and Idoline haven't been here, so I was like, let's go, I'll take you guys. Wow. Can you use chopsticks? Yeah. Uh, let's take it Spoon? Yes. <laughs> Check out the banchan, so beautiful and colorful. These are included for free and come with unlimited refills, but they complement the barbecue well. I personally love the marinated onion salad. There goes Sambert. <laughs> He's like, what is that? This is like what it is. Here are the meats I ordered for us, all Wagyu. The name 10 Butchers refers to the 10 different cuts of Wagyu beef they serve. One of my favorite things here is the seafood pancake. It comes out like a deep dish pizza. It's so good. A total upgrade from the basic scallion pancake. We started off our barbecue with the Wagyu brisket. The waitress cooks all of the meats for us. I'm glad they do this so we don't ruin the beef and it comes out perfect every time. So good. Next, we moved on to the Wagyu chuck flap. Better. The best one so far. A radish. So we grab one of the meats, put it on there, and you make it like a sushi roll. Mm. <laughs> I also ordered a bibimbap. It's kind of like a Korean-style fried rice. It comes in a hot bowl with Wagyu beef, 
an egg, and vegetables. We had the Wagyu rib fingers. They're not actual fingers. I think that was my personal favorite one. And we finished with pork belly. Does it like bacon? Yeah. Ta -da! Dinner also comes with a free dessert, light and refreshing berry sorbet. I'm glad I could take my friends here. 10 butchers is always a good time. Okay, we're gonna head out now. What do you think? It's good. It's a lot good. of food. Yes. Ooh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Kanzamnida. <laughs> I made it back home, Gatsby. We all had a good time. So Gatsby and I are gonna be going to UC Davis very soon. So please keep us in your thoughts. I am pretty stressed out about this and I guess this is just gonna be the new normal. Before we go to sleep, I wanna play a game with you guys. We're gonna have a little contest. The first person to get the question correct will win the plush. I will mail it to you. All you have to do is type in your answer in the comments below. We'll announce the answer in the next video. Hopefully somebody wins. If nobody gets it, nobody's gonna get the prize. The question is, how many plushes were in the maze all together? Remember that we didn't use all of the plushes. So if you pause the video and counted them, there's still a few more that you may have missed. Also, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and also click the like button. So other than that though, we are going to get headed to bed. I am exhausted. Yeah, Gatsby. Make sure to check out CorgiOnFleek.com for all of the merchandise. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Today, I'll be making my Corgi Gatsby the ultimate dog-friendly hot pot meal. I mean, look at that face. 